Well, howdy tubers, looky where I'm at. So you know I must be at the airport. And brought Spike out some bacon. He loved bacon. So, looks like we could get some flying in here. Look at that. So, might have come out yesterday, but I still figured it might be a little muddy, which it, it's soft, but I believe it's doable. And nobody else here, just Spike and I. So, let's get down there to the hangar and get her warming up. I brought brought out the spar that I made for Buddy Matt in case he just happens to be in this area today. As he goes, Andy Fury, everybody. So, anyways, let's get over there and get her out. There's a hot little number going. Ah, still here. So let's get it out. Let's check the oil. Now, I don't think I can do this with the phone. Because I pushed the nose down to get it level and then put the dipstick in there. Alrighty, there we go. Get it back in there. And. The balls off that I put on there for two reasons. I put them on there when the engine's hot and it's cold outside to keep and get my pedo cover off. I put them on there when it's cold outside and the engine's hot so that that cool air doesn't go up in there and warp a valve. Now, will they? I don't know. But I do it anyways, because that's what they do on P-51s. And then, of course, the other reason, be keep critters from growing in, or going in there. So. I put them back here. And got my bungee to hold the stick back after I put my my uh, Velcro around the stick to hold the brake on and, and of course use the chocks too but we'll go around and check this booger out so I can see my bolt in there and I can feel the washer on there and and checking to see if my pins are all in the aileron hinges and the same for the elevator and the rod ends and that's moving so it's lubed and the rudder rudder hinge bolts tail wheels aired up This heim joint moves. Got rudder hinge, our elevator hinge here. And of course it's a linkage on the tail wheel. And I 
Feels all secure. And same thing here, Just check see if that bolt's tight. And aileron hinges. And shake the wing there. Tires got air. Well, you know, low on air, so that's because that's your only shock absorbing. And prop here could use some motion on it. Yes, I should have checked to see if the mag was off. And the mag is off. And I gotta get my box to put in there. So, let's pause here. Okay, I sumped the, I sumped the gas. Now we'll, and I turn the gas on. Okay, got the brake on, the stick back. So now, we'll put the choke on. The mag's off. Throttle's back. Choke on. Pull it three, pull it through three times just like you're starting it fast okay and I got got some drips coming now I'll put you on the stand here okay there you go now we'll Just a little bit. Ignition. Alright. Uh, my little box is on. Mag's on. Got fuel. Should go first. Should go first flip. Well, it went, but not enough throttle in. Of course, I do this on on the camera and that well it did fire it did run the first lick but on the camera I know what I did I didn't turn the choke off so now it's way flooded okay so since I definitely flooded it then now oh okay now then go to full throttle mag is off Turn it backwards. Now 
then hope that cleared it out I say we start all over but I'll try starting it before I prime it again just in case there's still some fuel in there so now then Choke is off, mag is on, throttle's cracked, and... Okay, so then, now that it don't start, uh, back to where we were. Okay? So now then, choke on, unless it's still flooded, but we'll see. Choke on, one, two, three, choke off, it's dripping. Now then, as long as it was cleared out before, throttle cracked a little bit. Mag on. Now, if I got it cleared out before and turn the choke off this time, so it should go. That's all there is to it. If you flood it like I did. set the altimeter, let her warm up, and then go fly, but I'll do another video for that, so sorry about screwing up, not turning the choke off, but now, at least now you know what to do, if you do, or, um, well yeah, I guess if you leave it, forget to take the turn the choke off, or if you just know you did flood it, well then, go to full throttle, with the mag off, turn it backwards a whole bunch of times so that somehow clears the engine out of the raw fuel. And then go ahead and try starting it after you do that to make sure that it either will or won't start. If it won't start, well then you're back to square run one and just go ahead and, and put your choke on, pull it through three times fast like you're starting it, and then unlike me turn your choke back off and then turn the mag on crack the throttle and there you go so, anyways long video but i'll do another one on flying there you go god bless